All right, we're coming along on the project. We've got a little bit of the wiring done. Still got some tidying up to do. Got some uh, wire molding coming for that. But what we just set in place is this isolation transformer uh, where we can generate a neutral. As I've probably mentioned before, the Growbot SPF 5000 does not have a neutral. It's strictly 240. So there's no reference to neutral for the voltage with an exception. And we'll talk about that when, once I power everything up and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I learned that uh, from trial and error. But some have suggested that using an auto transformer is the way to go. And it might be a cheap way to go if you don't mind taking some risk with some of your equipment. And I wasn't willing to do that. Even though I tried to do it in my mind, sat down and planned out circuits around it. Uh, we can talk about an auto transformer in a different video. But what I have decided to do is use an isolation transformer. So this is gonna be my inverter output panel. All my outputs from my inverters, all five of them, will come here, each to a double pole breaker, and it will back feed this panel through this breaker, which I modified, uh, or I had one of my guys modify it for me with a shunt trip breaker. And I'll explain that at another time. But out of the top of this, I will come with 240 volts into this transformer. And then out of the transformer, I'll come out with 120 240 volts to the power system output panel. And then this will go feed a transfer switch on the outside, which we'll talk about again in another video. This transformer is a 50 kVA, which is probably larger than what I need. However, my protective devices are 200 amp. There wasn't a lot of cost difference between a 25 kVA and a 50 kVA. My peak load last September was I think it was 18 kW. I'm still trying to get the peak load from the utility for uh, December. So the transformer won't be fully loaded, probably about a third, a little bit more on peak during the month. Now this particular transformer is a high efficiency transformer that meets certain standards uh, for power power uh, efficiency and it's supposed to be 97 percent efficient that was one of my concerns about using an isolation transformer was i was going to introduce losses into the system which was you know that would consume some of my solar power that i'll be generating what on the high side here right now it's configured for 480 uh h1 h4 and this center tying h3 and h2 together that is um that is for 40 volt configuration but what i'll do i'll take these two bars out there's two bars right here and i will tie h1 to h3 and then h2 to h4 and and what the, these are they're two separate 240 volt windings and when you connect them this way they're in series but when I, I get through, they'll be in par parallel. So I'll have one hot leg from my inverter output panel here, the other hot leg here. That'll be 240 windings in parallel. And when I come out the bottom, I'll leave this again on the secondary side. Actually, what you have is 
to 120 volt windings in series. So these are in series. It's 120 volts from here, 120 volts from here. So it'll be 240 for here. I'll leave this connected in series and this is where I'll generate my neutral and I'll also ground this neutral in the next panel, the uh, system output panel. I think that's the safest way to get the neutral from, from these grow watts uh, versus the auto transformers. Uh, and it will also isolate the neutral uh, from the incoming neutral through the transfer switch. But this is what's called a separately derived neutral. So everything coming in to the transformer is coming in at 240. Even when the inverter is taking power from the uh, utility input panel, which this panel will feed the inverters and then at night, when the PV panels are not generating any power, and when the battery bank is depleted, the inverter will take power from the utility and then do an output. Now this inverter, I really got to power it up and do a little more studying on it, but this inverter is a little funky about how it does it. Uh, it is supposed to supply power output power with PV input power and utility input power. And they're supposed to supply an output at the same time. If you have some PV power available, but not enough, then utility is supposed to add to it. But when you don't have PV input, like at night, and the battery is dead, this thing runs in bypass mode. And I'm still learning more about that because the documentation on this grow watt is not very good. Uh, and it seems to me like when it's going bypass, that it's just bypassing the utility straight through. So in that case, I do have a neutral reference because my utility line, which is this set right here, has a reference and it has a neutral which is coming from uh, my utility so that's part of the problem with the auto transformer is that you end up in bypass mode you end up with the utility neutral and your auto transformer neutral in parallel uh, with the windings and it's gonna create some potential problems I know people are using it and they're having success with it, but uh, after studying it, I th didn't think it was worth the risk. But this transformer is gonna eliminate all that because I'm not bringing a utility neutral to it. I'm strictly bringing 240 from that inverter panel, or actually it's coming from this output panel here. And then I'm converting it over to 12240. So all the power for the house, whether I'm on utility, or PV panels or battery is going to come through this transformer. Now that is going to introduce some losses that I wouldn't have had when I'm powering straight from the utility. But you know it's supposed to be 97% efficient, so we'll see. But it you know it is what it is. I'm going to have to live with whatever losses are there. Uh, I had wanted to avoid that, but um, I just don't see how I'm going to be able to do that avoid it with these grow wide inverters at any rate that's what we're doing with the transformer